We're trying to stop you murdering innocent babies. Yeah, murder is no bueno. La muerta is no bueno. You're gonna be accountable for all the murders you commit every day. I'm sir. not doing any murders. Those read, are lives. Read the definition of what murder is. What, murder who, involves killing a living person. Is it not living? No, it's, it's not it's growing. Alive. It's, it's not alive. growing. Yes, it's not a person. And it's not a person. It's not so a person. it's an elephant then. It's not a person. It's, it's an a embryo. dog. It's, a, it's an embryo. Weren't you an embryo once? Yes. So were you. Exactly. And but now I grew I'm up. a living person. Isn't when you if did somebody would have killed when you, you eat an egg, you're not eating a chicken. Yeah, it can't grow if you kill it. There's a difference between an egg and a chicken, isn't there? You're, you're ending that life. We're not in eggs. We're, it's a well, you were once. It's a you were an egg. egg. You were an egg. It's a fertilized egg. If That's you life. leave that egg in its natural habitat, it will grow and turn. You don't. You have no right to take life. And you're going to die someday. Does that mean you're dead now? And you're going to die. And so well, of course I will. For God and give an account for murdering. God and I get along just fine. Children. The God, God of the Bible. God, no, just fine. The God of the Bible. Yes, I do read my Torah. And what does he say? That he knits it life together in the womb. All about it. What about Psalms? You, you don't read the Psalms at yes, all? Yes, I do read the Psalm Psalms. 139, where he knits the baby together in the womb. I so, you in your mother's yes, womb. That doesn't mean so you're destroying what God is knitting together. That doesn't mean it's protected. It does mean it's protected it by God. No, it does just not because mean just protected. because our man our law of man doesn't protect life doesn't mean God doesn't want life. When, to come when you into read the about world. where God talks about killing, he talks about killing other innocent people. Th then why are, why in the Torah people. why in the Torah is there a greater punishment when a woman is pregnant and the baby is hurt if it's not even a life? Why is there a greater punishment when that, that baby is injured? Okay. Wicked oh. man. Do not call these people to go to murder. You are an evil man. It is not stand murder. God for Read murder. the definition of murder. It is murder. Read, murder is a crime. Abortion is legal. You can lie to yourself if you want, but what you're doing Abo in there the, is murder. The reason a murder is a crime children. and abortion is legal is because they're different. The law of God supersedes the law of man. The God that you believe in is an idol and he does not exist. The God I believe in was around before the God you believe in. He's the same I God. Face him, I face him every day. I face him right now. Jesus is dead. Jesus has been dead for 2,000 years. He rose from the dead, sir. He rose from the dead. 2,000 years. Christ is our Lord and our Savior and our King. You're, you're deluding yourself. That's a fantasy. That's a myth that you've been told by somebody else. I'm never gonna face Christ. Just, because he's dead. We're all gonna face Christ. So you brought a living, you brought a baby out here? That's not a baby. It, you, you see a baby it would have been. There? You see that, a baby in there? That, 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 you're, those tissues grow. You're going to be a corpse someday. Does that make you a corpse? No, it doesn't. But I have life no, right now, doesn't. right? No, it God, doesn't. God takes this away life. This doesn't, doesn't make God this a gives life and God takes it away. Torah does not That's condemn right. abortion. Yes, it Torah does. does not mention anything about fetuses. Look right here, Exodus 21. A child, a child is a child that's Look. something that's born. Exodus. When, when were you born? When were sir, you born? sir, right here, Exodus 20. Your, your, age, your age is dated from the day you were born, not from the day you were conceived. Look, why does it say in Exodus? Sir, why does it say? Why does it say in Exodus 21, right here, 22 through 25, when men strive together and hit a pregnant woman so that her child comes out, but there is no harm, the one who hit her shall surely be fined, as the woman's husband shall impose on him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. But if there is harm, if that baby is harmed, then you shall pay life for life. That's called a life. Not in God's eyes. I will risk my life to fight to defend a pregnant woman, Yahweh to defend her pregnancy as long as she wants it. When she doesn't want it anymore, then this is who, who fights for the baby? Who fights for the baby? The mother will fight for the baby. If she's not going to fight for it, then I won't. So the baby doesn't get a choice? The baby doesn't get a choice? No, it doesn't. Why not? Because it can't talk, it can't speak, it can't think, it can't feel. That's the reason we should fight for him. 
Yahweh That's the reason we should life. fight for them. That is the mir Yahweh's miracle. Yeah, black people didn't get to vote either. Neither did women. Women didn't get to vote either. What about that? That was wrong and we fixed it. So we can't fix this too? You're confused. What about, what about Proverbs 24 verse 11 where he says, Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Stumbling. They have to be alive and walking. Women are stumbling them to the slaughter and they don't even get a choice. And I just read to you from the Torah. You said that you read the Torah. I just read to you from the Torah where God calls it a life. God said life for life, and you're going to be held accountable to that.